Hey Internet, I'm gonna do a like a let's play first impressions kind of video thing with a game. Uh, yeah, but I'll explain. See, I was originally this weekend going to do a video about some odd furry dating sim visual novel type things uh, because the video last weekend reminded me that I needed to do that. However, I then got an email that the demo for a game that had been sitting in my Steam wishlist forever finally came out. And I forgot why I even added the game, because I kind of forgot it existed. But now that I have the demo, I'm going to play it, and I'm going to show you. Now, full disclosure, I did start playing it on my own, because I wanted to. And I realized the game was absolutely ridiculous, and it would not be fair for me to deny you that. So, I'm going to start a new game, and we're going to see what happens. Also, I was going to put a headset on, so the audio in this video could be better. I don't know why I'm holding it here, like I'm going to cradle it lovingly. But, um... This headset, despite having pretty lights, uh, doesn't actually seem to work with my PC. So I guess we're just gonna have to use the camera sound and see how this goes. Okay, so the game, if you didn't see on the screen, and I'm sorry for the poor lighting, my computer's in a weird corner and there's no good lights here, and hey, look, the screen made me brighter, yay. Um, but yeah, it's, the game is called Dragon Audits, and like I said, I don't even remember why I initially added the game to my wish list, just that I did, and we're gonna see what happens. Uh, like I said, I did start playing a little, so I know kind of what happens, but... Until we get past that point, and then I won't be pretending. Anyway, here we go. And again, this is a demo. So, uh, like, I'm not going to try and crap on the company that's making it too much, because it's probably early in development. Uh, I'm sure they'll fix a lot of bugs, if there are any. And also, I don't even know if it is a company. It might just be one guy. I really, I did not do my usual um, research for this video. I know very little about this game. So, I'm really kind of going in blind. Okay, so here we go. Dragon Castle. Those are graphics. I mean, iOS graphics. Early iOS graphics, but... Oh! Okay. Um, I, again, I did start playing already, but I kind of forgot just how terrible this is. Uh, that looks like... Like, I'm going to put up on the screen here, I, I'm doing this because my computer screen's in front of me, but you're over here, so it's weird. Um, I'm going to put up what, like, King's Quest VIII for the PC back in the early 2000s looked like. And honestly, I bet it's pretty comparable to this. Um, so whoever made this game, I apologize. I don't want to, you know, poo-poo all over what you've got here, but these graphics, man, ouch. I am the great and fearsome. Oh, I hate practicing this. But I guess if I can scare off the knights, then I won't have to fight them. I'm not going to narrate the whole thing. You can read. Uh, play the game for yourself. If there's ridiculous dialogue, I'm certainly going to point it out. And again, it's on the screen. You can read it. I'm not going to narrate the whole thing. That's... No. Game people. You should probably put voiceovers on this. Like, it's 2020. You can, you can get a voiceover. It, it's not that hard. Hell, if there's a male character you want a voiceover for, call me. I'll do it free. I just want my voice in the game. Okay, being the dragon can't suck. I'm sorry, but if you're a dragon, that's gotta be amazing. You have wings and a giant pile of gold and you can breathe fire. Like, that can't suck. Plus, apparently, heterochromia and a tiny little patch of scales that ends right here in the jawline, which is weird. Um, but yeah, see, you got everything going for you. Okay, not the fairest. Oh, don't be down on yourself. It's okay, you princess dragon. A raw, a raw. I don't know how you say that. Ooh, wow, okay. Well, they got jiggle physics, so, I mean, priorities. Although there's some weird flickering in the dress right there, so maybe uh, stabilize your textures a little. That's, that's doing some weird stuff. And uh, 
very static expressions. So the mouths don't move for dialogue, they just kind of... So like, for example, right now I'm talking, but my mouth isn't moving. This is weird, huh? I should get back to the video. Well, she's not a dumb dragon. That's rude. Actually, I don't know. Maybe she is a dumb dragon. I guess we don't really know much about her yet. Although, look at the two people. Like, she's so much bigger than the dragon we meet. I feel like if you're a dragon, you should at least be on the larger side. Like, this is an Amazon and a tiny-ass little nymph with wings. Also, again, sorry for the sniffling. I've still got the allergy thing going on, so... New York in the summer. It's just what happens. I'm sorry. Wow. Princess Lady's kind of a B word. I'm still trying not to swear in these videos. I know I said the naughty version of butt earlier, but you know, you do what you can. Ooh, snap! You tell her, A Raw. Oh, she heard you. How loud do you whisper? She was like down the hall at that point. Okay, see, this is another reason I want voiceovers. I want to hear what incoherent draconic growling is. Like, I I need the, the words, like, the actual voice that goes with that. Because that sounds like fun. Way more interesting than just reading the subtitle. What was that face? Okay. Again with the jiggle business. That's that's so weird. Like everything else is minimally animated, I feel like, but the boobs wiggle. So that someone put extra effort and focused specifically to do that. What is that? Why? Why is there an old Texas Instruments computer on that desk? In a dragon castle? Also, where is that desk? Like, I don't... What is the layout of this room? I don't know why I said desk like that, but I don't know where this room it is. I'm confused. <laughs> yes, today is going to be different. You tell him, A-Rob. There's the desk. Okay. And we're back to this. The MS Paint map. There were, like, I can't rewind now, but there were like five cranes in that shot. How much construction is going on in this city at once? Did they just start building this city? Because that's, that's a lot. Am I that guy with the trench coat and the black hair? Because that would be cool. He, he looks cool. Actually, he does not look cool. He looks like he's probably a hapless doof who wants to be cool. So basically, any JRPG character ever. That is me. Wow, okay, yeah. Uh, lesser texture, but... What? It's already this late? I overslept! I better hurry to work! See? I can totally be this voiceover. I'm telling you, company. Call me. Got this. I would do a better voice than that. Plus, I mean, I work in an office building. I have experience being exactly as boring as this character probably is. Find a notepad, don't need it. Well, no, take it anyway. Well, who are you to decide I don't need a notepad? Maybe I will need a notepad. You don't know what the day will bring. Just saying. Like, a lot could happen. Whoa, okay, that was... Interesting camera interaction. Okay, see, the camera here is wonky. I am going to talk about this. Is that, like, if I'm moving and then I face this way, the camera starts turning that way on its own. And I have the right stick. I can move the camera, but it'll move back when it wants. And sometimes, like, you're trying to walk and then the camera just does things on its own. It's, it's pretty weird. Also, I did notice this yesterday. Oh my god. Like, if you start walking and then open the menu, you keep walking. And, and then now I'm just walking eternally until I exit the menu. Uh, so again, developers, that's not all of that. Anyway, um, 
your little inventory menu here thing is your pants. See here, you know, it's Q1 2020 summary account of items inside my pants. Uh, that's, that's weird. Yeah. Like they could have said pockets or inventory or uh, any number of words there really, but they chose to say pants. Um, I feel like that will get awkward later. Okay. Security reasons. My door will only open when the relevant punch card is inserted into the punch card machine on the right. It might seem like a bit of a fire safety hazard, but it's not like I live in an industrial city filled with likely to overheat machines, which also occasionally gets attacked by dragons. Oh, wait! That's exactly where I live. See? Tanya, I got this. So y'all thought I was reviewing a game. No. This is my audition tape. Not really. I just, I'm having fun now. Okay, I'm actually gonna stop feigning ignorance because I did play at least this for all. Oh, I didn't look at that before. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got kicked out of a guild. I don't know what guilds are yet. Um, I haven't gotten far enough to explore that. I actually only played about 10 minutes of the game. Um, but apparently it's important and I was kicked out of one. Take it. You stuff the punch card into your pants. See what I was saying about the awkward? That's, yeah. That, that phrasing makes this game super fitting for this uh, channel. Oh, here's another wonky thing. If you're interacting with something like the punch card reader here, the punch card reader requires a punch card. Duh. Um, so once I have the punch card, when I interact with this, you'd think it would take the punch card, the dialogue would change, stuff would happen. No, sir. I have to go into my inventory and choose to use the punch card. Uh, so it's just... It, it seems like an unnecessary step, something that could easily be programmed around. I mean, I am a programmer, but I didn't program this, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's more to it than I thought. That's a tank. Uh, but yeah, they should work on that too. Who parked their tank outside my alley? How am I going to get to work? I feel like it shouldn't be your first question. If there's a tank in the alley outside my house, I, I would ask a lot more than how am I going to get to work on time. I mean, for one, why is there a tank in my alley? Uh, also, here's another little walk thing. When you're going downstairs, uh, you just kind of, that. You just, like, float oddly down the stairs. Hey, look. It's my slide rule. Yes. Yes, I do. I put that slide rule in my pants. I mean, every guy's got a measure. You know, you, you gotta know. Yo. That's Matt. He meant a few words. <laughs> okay, so his explanation of the tank is they must be gearing up for audit season. I don't know how much y'all have dealt with the IRS, but uh, I don't, I don't think they're authorized to do that. I, I don't know. I mean, I can't be a hundred percent, but that's that's a bit wonky. Anyway, this is a soda machine. We're gonna buy, let's see, what are we gonna buy? Buy Credit Cola. Oh, well, okay, that's gone. Uh, let's do Waver Energy Soda. Oh, never mind, I'm not gonna drink that. How about Ledger Quench? Tastes like real ledger paper. Okay, well, great. And Debit Diet. Oh, it's just an empty can, never mind. And I reluctantly put that empty can in my pants. It's a dumpster. Big deal. Wait, is he talking to me? Don't break the fourth wall, George. Come on, I thought you knew better. You put the trash matches in your pants. <sighs> That's never gonna stop being Okay, uh, that's Matt's car. Uh, I don't care. This is a barrel of fuel. And according to every first-person shooter, this is a very explosive drum of fuel. I'm gonna take it. I stuffed that whole drum into my pants. That's... that's a feat. See? Even Matt doesn't know how I did that. Uh, okay, so here's inventory trick number two. 
If I use the whole barrel, it will explode the whole block. I don't want to do that. So you can combine things, for example, the fuel and this empty soda can. Ta-da! I can then use the explosive soda can. And my matches. Yeah, maybe. Also, that animation, that was some high quality. That was, that was pretty grand. Let's talk to these folks. They seem like nice folks. Just a kid on a bench with his mommy. His hand is on her upper thigh. That's a little weird, but yeah. Oh, no it's not. If I look at this angle, it's just floating oddly above her thigh. That's slightly less creepy. <gasps> How did you know? I am that guy. Thank you for recognizing me, kid. Oh, well, you're a not nice lady. All right, well, to hell with you then. I'm gonna pretend you're not there either. How about that? Okay, I'm late to work. Let's go to work. Let's talk to you. Official accounting business. Now, I've worked with a lot of accountants. I work in office buildings frequently. Uh, marketing people and accountants are probably my most frequent clients. They've never used tanks. Well, no, clearly they're not my tanks. If they were, I wouldn't ask your permission. Oh, okay, well, you're just a dick. Going upstairs is fine. Going down, yeah, weird. See, did you see? That was weird. Okay, we're inside now. That's a trash can. This is an elevator. Wonky things are gonna happen here. See the red glow on the elevator buttons? That was weird. It doesn't fit. Um, I can't go in this office. Also, I feel like that's not what it said last time I played the game. It's kind of weird. Like, it said that you don't need to go in because you don't work here thing, but I feel like it didn't say law offices of JoJo and Joe. I feel like that's new. All right, Todd. Can you run some copies for me? Oh, okay. Well, you're useless. Can you get me some coffee? You're just gonna say the same thing? Really? So you're like just a robot. Can you do my taxes for me? Robot, no. Can you be a witness at my friend's wedding for me? Robot, no. Can you drive me to the airport? This kind of feels like a clip from a Weird Al song. If you ever heard Albuquerque, the part where he's talking about the donuts and they keep saying no, that's what this reminds me of. Can you perform a sorted sleight of hand magic tricks for my entertainment? Okay, enough with Todd. Oh, also, another small complaint for the developers. When you hit B on the controller, it does not exit dialog. You have to scroll down and hit, never mind, and cancel it, the end dialog button. It's a minor thing, but it's an annoying thing. These are file cabinets. There's a box cutter. I put it in my pants and it hurt. Again, see, they know how awkward the pants thing is. They decided to do it anyway. That's weird. <laughs> That's a computer. Let's calculate some spreadsheets. Not gonna lie, that's sometimes fun. That's what I actually do at work, some of the time anyway. Did that the other day for someone. I made an awesome spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, it's pretty great. I have no life, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna look at restricted content now. <laughs> See, that wouldn't be IT, though. I mean, not technically, depending on where you work. Uh, I mean, my last office, the, the people that did the actual, like, the... I forget the words now, but basically, internet security stuff. Uh, they were not IT. They were a separate thing. But I'm getting way off on a tangent. Let's get back to the game. Oh, get it? What well, looks good on Congo? Because Congo and Amazon are both rainforests. It's a thing. Like a, yeah, you get it. I ordered a shovel to be delivered here. And now I'm logging off. 
Well, one of the two things that Todd does do is fetch packages. Go fetch my package, Todd. God, freaking Todd, and you all, you all know a Todd. See these shrimp that get highlighted in a very weird, opaque red highlight? I feel like you should look at that too, developers. I'm gonna take a shrimp. Also, I love that they have shrimp in their aquarium, but it's not like live shrimp. These appear to be already dead and possibly even cooked shrimp. That's weird. Thanks, Todd. Lenny? You named your shrimp Lenny? That's weird. Um, okay, so I'm going to combine my package with that box cutter. And I've retrieved a shell. Go. Hey, it's Director Persimmons. Have a seat. Well, I can't very well do that when there are no chairs. And I didn't say that last time, so let's see what happens. Then have a remain standing. I shall. Thank you, Director Persimmons. I have heard of Mitch, yes. He went outside. <laughs> see, I could also just be a voiceover of the director. I, I've, I've basically done that job before. I could totally be the director. He's dead. That brings me to the good news. Now, we have an opening for new nights. And fourth wall break time? That's what night means. Knowledgeable accountant, interrogative guy who is hyper tactical. That's a stretch, but I'll accept it. Who are you talking to? Oh, great sky accountant, you're weird. See? I can be the director. Yay! Promotion! Am I gonna hook up with the dragon lady? Because I feel like that's where this is going. And honestly, I've not played that far into the game, so I don't even know if that's the case. Ooh, okay, that's... I kicked the camera. My bad. Sorry, camera. Here's your calculator, here's your badge, and here's your tank. Oh, oh, so the tank that someone blew up was my tank? He says rough neighborhood like he's not two buildings away from where I live. You are in my neighborhood. This is the neighborhood, so if it's rough, this neighborhood is rough. Don't talk about it like it's some weird external thing. I like the use of silence and just facial expressions. That was good. Um, the graphics kind of grow on you after a while, honestly. They're still definitely weird, but... I like it. Well, I, I've grown to accept it. Like might be strong. I know I'm skipping a lot of this dialogue too. Uh, that's only because I've already read it. And again, I'm not going to narrate the whole thing for you. Uh, my voice is annoying as enough as it is. You don't need to hear me reading every single dialogue box. Again, unless of course the company wants to hire me to read the dialogue boxes professionally as a voiceover worker. And then I will absolutely do that. And everyone will love it because I'm great. Not great. But I'm good. And I'll work for free. I'm going to yawn. That's not a reflection of the game. That's just me. Accept me for who I am. Ooh, I get a banner. Oh yeah, somewhere in that dialogue he said that my previous guild would be willing to take me back if I complete this task. So, yay. I guess guilds are important. Uh, man, he looks really weird when he gets highlighted. Look at that evil red glow. That's 
Like around the glasses even, that's a that's a choice someone made. Yeah. Okay. I'm done in this office. I love all these other faceless drones just kind of sit on the other side of this fence and go forever. I have my own desk here. Behind all of them. So why do offices always set you up facing away from the door? I mean, I know why. So your boss can come in and check on you and make sure you're not doing things that you're not supposed to do without you knowing because he can see your screen first when he comes in. But red outlines could be weird against see. Uh, but yeah, I hate when they do that. Actually, elevator physics are weird too. You just kind of float down. Kind of like that. Anyway, now we can leave the city. But my tank is still on top of that building. I would pan up, but the camera doesn't go up and down, just left and right. Um, anyway, to retrieve it. And believe it or not, I found this before talking to the guy that I needed to use this on the last time I played too. So I'm gonna do that here as well. My shovel broke. Well, it was made of glass. And seriously, who makes a glass shovel? Uh, okay, let's see. Let's talk to you. I've got a special on apples today. Oh, it's you. You could pay full price. I don't know what his problem is. Vegetables! Get your vegetables! Hey, don't mind Sam over there. It's hard for some people to learn forgiveness, but I know you tried your best back then, right? That's some foreshadowing into some flashback territory. Something happened back at Okay, that's the electric company. Uh, what's up here? Oh, I don't need to go up there yet. Okay, you're being weird. I forgot one thing I needed to do. Uh, I need to talk to the weirdo. How much for copier paper? I'm trading quality multi-purpose paper for lovely poetry. He doesn't accept real. Okay. Bye. Now that I know I need lovely poetry, the prompt should show up to get said lovely poetry. So my neighbor Matt, who is possibly partially retarded, is about to marry this lady, who is seemingly important. I got promoted. Why well, thank you. I can't believe you two are really getting married. Oh my god, with the yawning. I'm sorry. We're gonna be an unstoppable power couple. I'll be on the throne before you know it. See? Let me be her voiceover. How fun would that be? I do. I care about the monsters. I mean, Mia? Ragnara, the other ones, like, who doesn't care about monsters? If you don't get that reference, that's fine. It just means you're not an anime pervert weirdo. How's things? But how are you? I worry about you. Me? I'm fine. I know it's hard for you sometimes, not having a guild and all. Wow, what a bitchy thing to say. It must be like not having a family. Can we talk about something else? Like how you're childless and barren, you ugly... Okay, we're gonna move on. Yeah, write that poetry. Oh, you're embarrassed? Well, you should be, because you're a stupid. I tenderly insert the lovely poetry into my pants. In front of her, by the way. And now I'm winking and grinning. That's... That's a weird interaction. Like, just, just picture that with another person. If I had access to other people right now, I would actually insert a skit here of me doing exactly that and seeing the expression on the other person's face. But I don't, so you're just gonna have to trust me that it's effing weird. Bye! Okay. 
So we have lovely poetry now, and I'm falling downstairs. <sighs> and then I'm gonna go into the copy center. This is an abandoned copy center, but there's a copy machine. And it needs toner, and power, and paper. Oh my! See, those stairs you can handle. Very hit or miss. Uh, okay. Power, I get over here from the power company. Welcome to FICO Electric, your first and only choice for power. Is it ER office? Let me just check here. Oh, yep. It looks like you haven't signed the consent form. We changed our power source from oil to clean energy recently, so you have to opt in. No reason. The new generators are great and don't have any potential ethical issues. I developed a lisp. Well, it uses energy from the outside, and maybe some people from there don't like that. But they, like, live outside, so who cares? So just sign this form, you're okay with... I missed words. I'm gonna stop doing that now. I put the consent form in my pants. Those I'm gonna keep reading, because it's ridiculous. Again, there's a nightmarish outline around a human being. Let's talk to my favorite vendor friend. I forgot, I don't need to talk, I need to use the thing. Please change the developers. Please. Oh, and because I didn't appreciate the poetry enough, he gave it back, but also gave me the copy paper I wanted. So, yeah. What a generous guy. He only accepts payment in the form of poetry, and then doesn't even keep the poetry he receives. He's not great at his job. But he works for himself, so I guess he's not gonna get fired. It was an accident. Everyone's fine. Oh, yeah, it's once again. Also, B button. Fix that too. Here's your lovely poetry. It came from your wife to be. Isn't that great? I know. I'm I'm a smith as well. Oh, I forgot to show you what the poetry said. It's terrible. Uh oh that shrimp I got? We're gonna use that shrimp. Hi, sketchy back in the guy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Name brand toner. <laughs> and he knows what I've been hearing. That his toner is just squid ink that he got from a squid monster. Crazy, right? Probably because he only accepts payments in the form of shrimp. A lot of people accept weird payments. <laughs> a squid okay see um i don't like what's being implied here because basically what i'm getting from this my curse has been right in the middle of the screen the whole time that's awful uh basically he's screwing a squid monster and i mean i know tentacles are popular in hentai but <laughs> weird anyway uh goodbye lenny i'm going to give you to this man so he can feed you to his uh wife I put the toner in my pants. Oh, yes, that's that's what I do. Because that's where it belongs, of course. <sighs> Odd game. Okay, I'm gonna fall down the stairs. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna talk to the old drunk man. What do you want? <sighs> okay, I... Aw, oh, that prompt is gone. I really wish I would have read that prompt out loud. It's it's a good prompt. Okay, I, I can skip all that. I'm gonna give him back his register that I dug up. One last job? No! 
I'm out of the game. You were born a notary. Verifying documents is in your blood. Damn it, you're right. Let's do this. Show me your document. I know I'm reading it overly dramatic, but I'm pretty sure it was written with that intent. Oh my god, I still have the poetry. Here we go. Roses are red. Violets are blue. True love is a mutually profitable venture that results in enhanced efficiency. Ladies? Sign here. And I'll mark it in my register. Dramatically. After I sniff it, because that's the kind of guy that I am. Whammo! Also, his seal is just a rubber stamp. That's not how seals work. I know several notaries. My mother's a notary. Um, you can't... No, it, it has to... It, it raises and slightly perforates the paper. It creates an actual physical seal. That, that wouldn't count. Also, disgusting allerginess in three, two... Sorry. Sorry. Hi again. That's right. Talking. I'm never going to get used to that. I'm going to do that every time. Alright. Also, this copier should be the villain of the game because printers and copiers be ultimate evil for anyone that's ever worked in IT. Yeah. <laughs> Squid ink pants toner. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what I'm allergic to. Apparently it's the whole world. I've now put the paper and the toner in the printer and retained power. Regained power or restored power. Not retained. Did not retain anything. I'm retaining the water. The door does not open on its own. I will use my slide rule. And now I shall climb the scaffolding, which does not have a T in it. Whoa, I can see the whole. No, you can't. There's lots of tall buildings between you and the rest of the city. That is a blatant lie. For your convenience, the manual is available in two language ripped out pages. Okay, I put the manual that I can't read in my pants because that's where all the things go. I'm beginning to think he's a pervert. Luckily, this printer has a built-in translate feature. By the way, if there was ever a printer that had that, oh my god, you would make all the money. Okay, now that I have an English owner's manual, I will operate the operating a crane. Uh, these are logic puzzles. I love logic puzzles. Okay, so the store is in the far west. West. Ah, uh, do do do. Nothing's above the store. Okay, the store is beside the mountain. So that goes there. The dog sits on the mountain. Well, there he goes. The pigeon flies higher than the sun, which means the pigeon be up here and the sun must be here. The sun rises in the east, so it's right there. Okay. Uh, the dog barks under the pigeon, which means the pigeon is above the dog. And then what about the cloud? Nothing is below the cloud. The cloud is beside the pigeon. Well, then it can't be here because there's nothing below it, so whammo. Are you ready? That's a sturdy ass tank. I said that word again. Tisk. But I mean, really, wrecking balls are just solid. That's that's pretty crazy. 
Okay, this is as far as I've gotten last of my blade, so everything from here on out is going to be a new adventure. So let's learn some things, because uh, I legitimately stopped playing at that point. This is the gate to the outside world. Yeah, I, I can see that. I, I don't know. Are you, are you asking him if you're ready? Are you talking to yourself? What about the tank? Do I have to, like, get in or equip the tank first? Oh, here we go. Who are all these people? There are, like, three people in this entire town until now. Why am I having all these weird, sideways, embarrassed, awkward glances? Also, those are some really cool slime moves. Bye, weird married couple, one of whom is still in their bathrobe. Bye, Director Persimmons. I wish I'd totally be the boy in this up. I want that dragon sign. Company, I changed my mind. I won't do my voice over for free. I will do it in exchange for a physical version of that dragon warning sign. Because that was cool. I it. <laughs> Print that out as a poster board or something. You got yourself a deal. I'll voice over whatever character you want. Hell, I'll voice over all the characters. Same voice, too. Great. I appear confused. I mean, at least I knew how to operate the tank. That's... that's something. I'm just driving through forests now. I murdered a lot of trees. Ah, there we go. And a loading screen. I love loading screens. <laughs> See, I can voice over the dragon. So much is happening. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it over the bridge with this tank. It doesn't look wide enough. And earlier, when we saw the map, the bridge was kind of moving, so I don't think it's stable enough for that tank. Either. Yay! Okay, well. What happened years ago? I need to know. So the hearts and the tail, that's a... Uh, I'm gonna pork that dragon. You may as well call me Donkey. <laughs> Unless he thinks I'm the princess. Please hold. I need to blow my nose. Honey, I'm home. Okay, now I'm the dragon. Wow, he's taking his sweet time. Actually, he's not moving at all. He needed a minute. Oh, okay, that tail does things. What's that? Can't interact with it. What's that? Nope, I can't interact with that. Someone's playing Guilty Gear, shut up! Oh, okay. Uh, that was unintentional, but I guess that's a thing the camera does. Oh man, I don't know. 911? Okay, so I 
need to find the key to the pantry, which is in her room. I need to find the written down password. That's her room right there. Good to know. What's out here? Can I jump? I cannot jump. Oh, I can put things in her pants too, which is even more weird. Because uh, she's not wearing pants. that <sighs> okay um, okay so squiggle is one and uh, Japanese character is two squiggle and that Japanese character is 12 uh, so when you spell things out they just go in order box around squiggle equals two Squiggle and box around Japanese character. So box around means plus one. Uh, so three. Okay. But then there's a weird mystery character at the end there. I don't know what that character means. Oh. Maybe it's the number of lines, because the Japanese character has two lines and is a two, and the squiggle is one line and is a one. So that has five lines, so it's a five. And the squiggle is a one, so five one, but it's in a box, so it's gonna be six two. And then the last squiggle is one. Six two one, I'll go with that. I may have made it up. Like, it might be wrong. I, I have no guarantees. Uh, what did I say, is six two one? Let's try it. Six, two, one. Oh yeah! Genius. This guy. Okay, well. Is this the porno room? I took the room top. Oh, it doesn't say that you put it in your pants. That's good. That would be awkward with her not wearing pants. Although you shouldn't make that noise while presumably putting it in your pants because that's just as weird and the jiggle physics apply to the dragon too. Look, I barely moved and they... Okay. That's... that's a lot. What do I need the broom and the camera for? What's that? But I do need to leave this. Hi, grumpy lady. <clears throat> um, okay. What if I take her picture? working broom. Can I take a picture now? No. Can I interact with that in any way? No. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Well, I'm confused as to what to do next. closet anymore. <clears throat> Vinny's name brand telephones. What's that say underneath? Name brand. The only phone brand that smells like fish.
she can see me from where she is. How did that prank work? Um, oh, so I'm guessing I have to make the lighting not fine. Absolutely died for a minute there, but uh, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Anywho, let's go through the princess's bed. I can't. That's sick. At least it's not like my RPG where I found the princess's bra. And yes, that's a thing. Ooh, a treadmill. Can I break it? What's in here? Locked. But what if I want to go in there? Well, I don't need to. I have a meat closet. Yeah, it was a weird thing to say. What's all that? What's all that? I mean, I know there's meat, but is there anything else? What's in the corner? Just a small piece of light for no reason. Okay, well this is a thing that I can do now. I do need to leave this floor. I need to... to oh, she's out here. A zoo died in my mouth. The dragon, the wonderful dragon. Squelch. It doesn't quite have the same ring, does it? Also, there's a very green glow on my face. Look at that. That's fine. What if I go this way where there's not much green on the screen? Oh, it goes away. Oh, oh, okay. Whoops. I can fall off. Splat. Bad end. Oh, please. No. Don't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you got me. Jerks. That was rude. <laughs> but kind of funny. Hi, princess who has wings and is clearly a dragon. It is I, regular human April. Also, I am a princess. Okay, well, holy Christ, that is a terrifying image. Like, really, they've made that look creepier than they probably needed to. <clears throat> Especially considering our goal is to fork me, not eat me.
well. She may have blown her cover. Just, just a little bit. Okay. I'm going on a date with a dra- Okay. Oh god, what's happening? like a good logical place to end for now because this video is already an hour long and I should stop this episode before I have sex with a dragon which is something I didn't think I'd say but yeah hopefully you enjoyed whatever the heck this was and if so um I'll do more I'll keep playing if you want uh since no one watches these videos I'll assume you want me to keep playing unless someone says otherwise so I guess down in the comment place, let me know if you want me to play more or if you want me to shut up or if you want me to do anything else. Also, the Evercade, a console that came out forever ago, Amazon finally shipped and I should be receiving it tomorrow, assuming the post office doesn't lose it. So I'll review that too if you want a more traditional just review of things to know if you should play them or not and not me talking in a screen and badly doing impressions and voiceovers and pitching myself for potential jobs. Um, yeah, I've rambled enough. This has already been super long, so I'm going to stop. See you later.